Yeah. Let's see, I might have a here. Oh, this is uh, from a book I published when I was uh, broadside press called Sorrows In. This one is called Longings for the Hot Summer, 1967. What does winter hold for me? Does freedom's promise lie frozen beneath sloshing feet long after summer sees its mothballs spent? The young black men on whom I depend move indoors now to slam dunk hoop, curl their hair, or laugh if love moves too near. Shadows in short sequence quiet the men, their oppression soft as snow-filled trenches. Summer made it spark, fires banked strife, pure in wool, total in discomfort. Too hot to be so close, too hot to be so close, man. What does winter hold for me? The young black men on whom I depend, fastened coats, smoke their weed, turn corners, cursing only the wind. When I say curling their hair, thank you. That was in the days when they switched Jerry. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I guess everyone has written about Billie Holiday. In fact, um, my daughter was saying one of her friends said she was going to do a piece on Billie Holiday. She said, I'm getting tired of Billie Holiday. We know about Billie Holiday. I mean, you know, she, she's someone we respect and all. But let's do something else. And, and I think we have gotten to that rut, certainly with Black History Month, where we do talk about the very same people. But anyway, I, I didn't remind her that I've written something about Billie Holiday. <laughs> It's called Billy's Demise. Lady, sing no more your blues piece. Anthems of never ever glad times. God bless the child times. Times that know no morning kiss. Lady, lady, cover your trophies. Celebrating sadness beneath button sleeves and tears. Then lapse from mournful exile as we watch a gardenia fall from your hair. I'll read them. Let's see, put this down. Oh, this is one about Michigan winter. It's one of those winters like we are having currently. Stomp your feet against dead earth's floor. Tease your branches white. Sway your winds across a battered skyline. Watch us play among your snowdrifts. Teeth gnashed in language you inspire. Hang your sun low. Oh, January, godfather of the hawk. We dream of blessed dog days and quickly take cover. <laughs> yes, amen. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, My mother used to say, never ride a free horse to death. That meant if someone was nice to you, don't keep going back and back and back to them. So I said, never ride a free horse to death. Well, I thought about this with Sammy Davis. I call it proverb for Sammy Davis. Kick your heels like a spring colt. Kick them up, minstrel, through every sigh and song. We want lean love and quick diamonds. We'll ride all night if it takes. Kick, kick, Harlem Dancer. Kick through the sweat of your dusty brown silk. Kick until we hoop, and these spurs become numb applause. <laughs> and my last one. I think it's so long. Um, this one is about Dr. King. Apology to Dr. King. How come we didn't see you in your silk scarves of peace, in your bulletproof vision, in your dark pews of truth? How come we just claiming you in these harsh sheets of death? 
with no shoes and can't even hear. Mm. I would just like to, as you know, we just lost Amiri Baraka, and I wanted to read in the mic. In the mic yes, we Read this one. As you know, he wrote a great, great body of work, and I was so proud the other day when, recently, when it was announced that he had died, my son told me that I had given him uh, the one with the blues. Uh, he said, you gave me that. I said, I had forgotten that I felt real good. I said, I'm a pretty cool mom. <laughs> so I've given him a few other books that I've forgotten he tells me about, but I was really proud of that one. They said I was a moderate militant back in the 60s. <laughs> I got scared by evening, you know, and ran home after I thought of, and read all these books and things. But anyway, this one is called Preface to a 20-volume Suicide Note for Kelly Jones, born 16 May 1959. Lately, I've become accustomed to the way the ground opens up and envelops me. Each time I go out to walk the dog, or the broad-edged silly music the wind makes when I run the bus, things have come to that. And now, each night I count the stars, and each night I get the same number. And when they will not come to be counted, I count the holes they leave. Nobody sings anymore. And then, last night, I tiptoed up to my daughter's room and heard her talking to someone. And when I opened the door, there was no one there, only she on her knees, peeking into her own clasped hands. <laughs> <laughs>